example, because it is a difficult thing to comprehend, OK? Um, so if you, let's pretend this one, I said, hey, give me, um, give me two representations where 3 is positive, or give me two different representations where 3 is positive, OK? So then, first of all, what I would do is let's just make sense. Forget the negative for a second. Let's just do it as 3, OK? Forget the negative. 1, 2, 3. So 3, 4 pi over 3 is going to be down here. Hopefully you guys agree with me that's 4 pi over 3, and that is 3 right there. However, what does the negative do? The negative reflects it about the origin. So that's really this point right here. So that is actually the answer right there. So let's call this like A. That's A. This is the point 3, 4 pi over 3. This is the point negative 3, 4 pi over 3. So the easy way I like to do it, if you're getting stuck or you're confused, is just graph the point as it being positive and then treat the negative as a reflection. Because that's all it is. The negative is just a reflection about the origin. OK? Yes? If there's an infinite amount of like, different ways you can represent it, then how do you know if it's, if it's a negative 3, it would be in the first quadrant. And if it's a positive 3, it's in the Not necessarily. It depends. Depends on the angle that you're given. So like you couldn't say that negative 3, or you couldn't say that positive 3, 4 pi over 3 is in there? No, because positive 3, 4 pi over 3, is going to take you to this point right here. That's not the same as that point, okay. right? Now, let's represent this a couple different ways, right? Because that was the question. Like, can't we represent this point a couple different ways? So you could have done, we did 4 pi over 3. Could we do the negative version of that angle? Right? What's the negative version of that? Anybody know? Two pi. Negative 3, 2 pi over 3. What about if we just want to use the positive, positive 3? Well, here's where the angle is. What is this? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, good, thank you. Negative 2 pi over 3, thank you. What is this angle? What is it from here to here? 3 pi over 3. Pi over 3, right? So couldn't you just do pi over 3? <coughs> and then what about, could you do the negative version of that? So negative 5 pi over 3. There's three representations right there, which would be good, like, you know, multiple choice kind of question. Yes? It's just a reflection of your things. No, I understand that, but like, how do you get the first one? I just, instead of doing this angle, I did this angle. But you said that's not the answer. No, you go to this point, and then the negative, the th radius, it, that's being reflected. So you go to this point, and then you reflect it over. These, with a negative reflection, you're going down to this quadrant and reflecting it back over. These are, all, these are all the same points. Those are all the same points. All these same points give you A. But then if, like, so how is that equal to 3, comma, 4? It's not equal. I was just using that to show you guys how to graph, how to find that point. This is not equal to any of This point is not equal to any of those. I just use this to find this point. Because the angle says 4 pi over 3, so that's down there. But the negative tells you to reflect it about the origin. That's why you have to follow that negative. If there was no negative there, then that's your answer. Done. Got it. Easy. But there is a negative there. So you go to the angle, but the negative reflects it about the origin. OK? Yes? So 